June 6, 1944, a big day in World War II history. D-Day, to be exact. A day that one Bonnie Air man hopes no one will forget. As 41 NBC's Sean Franklin finds out, he's taken to the skies to be sure everyone is reminded about what happened that day. Sean? That's right, Ashley. Jim Micko is an Army reservist. He has extensive experience parachuting, and now, along with his jump team, he'll be doing the D-Day jump to honor those who fought before him. We're here today in a free world because of what they did. And for Jim Micko, that's worth everything. And will be up there looking at us and going, you know, that's what we did 70 years ago. June 6, 1944. Showing the sacrifice that they made 70 years ago, uh, we feel that we can teach the younger generation uh, a little more about what happened. American paratroopers dropped into France as a part of Operation Overlord in World War II. It's known in history as D-Day. The outcome was not guaranteed that we were going to win the war. Brave men fought. And the sacrifice they made yeah, in order to, to take uh, uh, Europe back from Hitler is just tremendous. In honor of those men, Miko will reenact the jump paratroopers made into France as the anniversary of D-Day nears. Uh, the airplane we're going to be jumping is called W-7. It's an actual veteran of D-Day. It flew in the invasion dropping paratroopers. His gear will also mimic what the troops wore. And this particular jumpsuit is called a 1942 jumpsuit. It was typical issue at the time of D-Day. All to remember the sacrifice. These guys are not, that are still alive are not going to be around too much longer. And that's what we're doing it for. The veterans that, of course, have already gone, but the ones that are still there, they're going to be, uh, it'll probably be the last trip they'll ever be able to make because if they're not 90, they're pushing their 90s now. They'll be waiting when Miko lands. I'm sure what they'll be thinking is, I'm just glad somebody remembers about what we did and why we did it. We won't forget. Miko is leaving Sunday for France. Liberty Jump Team will be doing four different jumps during the week. Miko said troopers wore nearly 150 pounds of gear during the actual jump during World War II, but he said he won't be wearing all that, but he's going to get as close as he can to the real thing.